If you think we're struggling in Australia, imagine being trapped in a third world country. Hundreds of Aussies are currently stranded around South America where countries have closed their borders. Dan Nolan spoke to two Brisbane nurses in lockdown in Peru. We're critical care nurses from Brisbane and we are currently stuck in Miraflores, Lima, which is in Peru. We did try our best to get out of the country and unfortunately this wasn't possible. It's actually pretty scary how quickly it's escalating. Panic buying in Peru. Supermarket shelves cleaned out and curfews in place with military patrolling the streets. Amidst this chaos are hundreds of Australians with no way to get out after Peru closed its borders with just 24 hours notice. Among them, nurses Kate Kitto and Genevieve Pine, stranded in the capital Lima. What's life like in Peru at the moment? Life in Lima at the moment, so we're now day three of our isolation to our hotel room. We're pretty lucky we got a nice hotel room, but we know there's Aussies in hostels and Airbnbs all across um, Peru. We've heard some people on the Amazon. With a state of emergency declared, the streets are deserted. Kate and Jen filmed these videos on a brief visit allowed outdoors. And when we're allowed out in the day, just one person at a time is allowed to go to the supermarket, bank or pharmacy. Obviously, if someone's unwell, you can go to the hospital. Ending up in hospital in Peru is clearly the last place they want to be, with confirmed COVID-19 cases now climbing. Obviously, there's a huge healthcare um, issue in terms of um, accessing healthcare here. We also don't want to put more demands on the Peruvian healthcare system, which is already actually really inundated with people. 25-year-old Kate and 23-year-old Jen left Australia on March 13. They were aware of the potential health risks, but virus rates in South America at that time were still low. The Smart Traveller website advised travel with caution to Peru. During our flight, that upgraded to reconsider your need for international travel, and then in a few days later, obviously the borders had shut. So I guess we were aware of the risk, but at the time it was pretty low when we left. Their two-month South American tour was still going ahead at that point. They had saved for two years for what was meant to be a trip of a lifetime. Yeah, I guess we weren't expecting it to escalate so quickly. We checked with our tour, everything was smooth sailing. They said, yep, everyone's still coming. What did you do when you were only given 24 hours notice to get out before the borders closed? We went straight to the airport. It was chaotic. The lines were super long. We tried to book flights. We ended up getting a flight to Miami that was then cancelled. We know our friends had booked flights to back to Australia that mm. were costing about $8,000 and they got cancelled too. There are now no flights leaving Peru's airport and foreigners are not allowed to cross the border by land into Chile, where flights are still operating. What sort of military presence is there to enforce these travel restrictions? Um, they have like military and police checkpoints at every major intersection, so um, they're shutting down any like car or bus movement. Um, they're checking people's passports. Australia's embassy in Lima is overwhelmed with people needing help. In a message sent to trapped Australians, it advised it is not possible to leave at this time. If you're in Peru, remain where you are. Follow the instructions of local authorities. Take care to minimise your risk of exposure to coronavirus. Uh, but for those Australians who are finding themselves isolated in parts of the world, well, the, uh, the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, uh, I'm particularly aware of the issue that was raised with me yesterday around Lima, uh, where there are Australians who are in places which have already been cut off and you can't get a flight up to LAX or something like that, uh, then the Department of Affairs and Foreign and Trade uh, and the Foreign Minister are bringing forward some uh, matters for consideration by the National Security Committee. The government advice is still to make your own way home via commercial flights, despite none running from Peru. Qantas will continue to be maintaining flights out of a um, number of key hubs, and that's Los Angeles and London and uh, Hong Kong, I understand, and Auckland and uh, a few other places around the world. And uh, we thank them for continuing to do that and we're encouraging Australians to make their way home. There's an estimated 170 Australians stuck in Peru alone, many more in other South American destinations. Some are staying in cramped hostels in full lockdown.
and people in those hostels, like six to eight people, and they're not allowed to leave at all. They're not allowed to do cooking facilities or anything like that. So it's um, a little bit isolating. It's mm. definitely a little bit like scary, the uncertainty, but we're definitely one of the lucky ones um, mm. in our hotel room. And the lucky ones may get out next week. A tour company is arranging a charter flight out of Lima's International Airport, but it will come at a hefty price. But this flight will probably cost around $5,000 or more. And whilst Kate and I might be able to afford it, there's hundreds of people here who might not be able to. Um, there's people here who are desperate to get back to their children and families. What do you hope the Australian government can do for you? What we want from the Australian government is just a few more answers for the people that are stuck in these countries. What should we be doing? How can we help? What's our best option to get out? Both are intensive care nurses, which are already desperately needed back home. They had a return ticket booked with Qantas out of Chile, but can't cross the border, even if there was a flight. And we're just getting lots of mixed messages, really confusing, it's very overwhelming, um, and we're not really sure. We're just trying to play it day by day and sort of stay as positive as we can. Mm. Um, but it's definitely the feelings of uncertainty that are a little bit scary. Kate and Genevieve say other countries like Germany have arranged special flights to ferry its stranded citizens from Peru back home.